What is up guys, my name is Squishy Spud and welcome back to another Zer Day. Zer Day is a day when we take a look at where Zer is and what he's selling. He's the agent of the night that shows up at the tower every Friday early in the morning and leaves on Sunday early in the morning. And sometimes he brings something useful. So uh, take a look at the map, he's in the tower north. See the speaker's tower over there? We'll take a look at what he's got. Guardian. Starting off with the Titan class, the Taiko Nord. Uh, the helmet's worn by the first Chinese lunar colonists of the Golden Age. This is actually a really cool helmet for both PvE and PvP, because all rocket launchers gain tracking, so you can use uh, something like the Dragon's Breath and kind of have um, a Galahorn, I guess. So, because it tracks, and it's got the uh, the perks from the Dragon's Breath. You know, kind of like a Dragon... You know, there's never going to be a Galahorn, and they're never going to bring the Galahorn, and that's really annoying. But we do what we can. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's all that really it does that's of any use. It looks terrible. I, I'll show you what it looks like now. It doesn't really look very good, like an old spacesuit, and it doesn't really change with the shaders, but has great perks, so um, definitely worth it. Moving on to the Titan class, the sealed Ahamkara Grasps. Ahamkara Grasps, however you want to say that. Playing the Amkara Bones in silver helps to quiet the auditory hallucinations. Oh, bearer mine. Uh, yeah, sometimes the I'm Destiny lore gets really confusing. So you've got to sit on their website and read. And who wants to do that, right? That's why you watch YouTube videos. Uh, gain additional melee charge and melee damage uh, may reload primary weapon. It do In my opinion, it's not really a great perk. Some people love it. Um, PvE, PvP, there's nothing really special to it. I'd say probably PvE is more useful because you gain the additional melee charge, and melee charges are very secure. useful in close quarters combat. Other than that, you look at it, increased melee speed and increase the reload speed of sidearm, so definitely a PvE piece of armor. We'll take a look at it. They look pretty cool, but uh, that's about all they have going for them, really. And moving on to my current class, the Apothesis Veil. Most helmets protect the mind from the universe, not this one. Uh, immediate health, melee, and grenade regeneration on activating your super. Uh, that's useful both PV PvP and PvE, in my opinion. Uh, other than that, you're more super energy from non-guardian kills and gain melee bonus energy on orb. So it's based around PvE because of the uh, non-guardian kills. But, <laughs> like I said before, immediate health, melee, and grenade regeneration on activating your super is a... Uh, pretty useful. So we'll take a look at it. It's actually a pretty cool looking helmet as well. But uh, also don't forget if this is, if any of this armor is something you're looking for and you're thinking of breaking something down into it, um, you know, infusing, <coughs> don't do it yet because, um, I can't remember what the day is, but later on this week when the, later on this month, sorry, when the new DLC comes out, the new update comes out, you'll be able to break down something of, let's say it's 310, you buy this at 280, it'll break down straight to the 310 when you infuse. Instead of right now where you, you infuse something that's 310 and you get the, this dropping at like 290 something. And it's um, pure, you know, it, it's, it's annoying because you have to infuse like at least two or three things into it to get to the 310. And that's a waste of armor. <coughs> so unless you have 310s hanging around all over the place that you're not using, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, so you might as well wait, so just do that. But yeah, it's a, it's kind of a cool looking helmet, except for when you turn it to the side and you see that those springy things are completely flat. It's kind of weird looking. But I guess when you're actually playing with it, it doesn't matter. Oh, moving along to the surprise for the week, which is a gauntlet engram. Yay. So if you've got a pair of gauntlets you're looking for, go ahead and waste 19 strange coins on this bad boy. For you, year one is still trying to uh, complete your collection, which actually might come in more handy than it did before, considering they're upgrading more year one weapons to year two. Uh, you've got a body engram this week for the legacy. It drops at year one attack and um, shield, so don't don't pick this up if you're looking for year two. It's it's a year one engram. Glass needles um, helps you. Well, it doesn't help you, but it make, lets you re-roll some of the perks of uh, exotics. But they're quite pricey, so you gotta. It, it's all about risk and reward. High risk, high gain. Moving on to the three of coins. Basically, the only thing I buy anymore from uh, Zer, except for when, you know, on the occasion he has a gun. <coughs> well, a gun that I don't have. Three of coins allows you to get a higher chance of an exotic drop playing PV, PvP and PvE, so it's fair for everybody. One strange coin will get you. I mean, seven strange coins will get you five. 
Heavy ammo synthesis. Another thing that I buy from Zora. These are the two things I buy from him every week. <clears throat> you look at it. Three for one strange coin. It's a great price. Otherwise, you go into barracks and spending other seeds and glimmer. And it's very expensive. We never stop and look at these because who does, right? And lastly, two strange coins will get you a mode of light. Modes of light are useful for upgrading gear without having to spend gameplay time. And they're also used to buy things, like infusing and so on and so forth. You need them. So, I mean, if you've got tons and tons of strange coins and you need modes of light for infusing things like that, go ahead and pick them up. Otherwise, they drop at a higher rate than strange coins, so I, I wouldn't really waste my time doing that. So that's it for this week. I hope he bought something useful. I'm going to guess just by base by what he's got that he didn't. But let me know in the comments below if he bought anything that's useful to you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check me out during the week time, 11 a.m. Eastern time to about 3 p.m. Uh, we play all kinds of games on the live stream, my YouTube gaming channel. So stop by. And right now we have a challenge going. And if I can reach 350 subscribers by the end of my stream today at 3 p.m. Eastern time, I will be doing the water bottle challenge for my viewers' pleasure. <laughs> so stop on by, and uh, let's see if you guys can torture me for the weekend. If it happens, I will record the video over the weekend, unedited. So it'll just be from the beginning, I'll introduce myself, do what I gotta do, end the video, and it will be posted on Monday. So there is that, so stop on by. And again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Oh yes, it's very nice, sir.